Kate Slinky. Hey people, Kate Slinky here. So today we're going to be talking about the MVP of all guild bosses and that's Ross Wither and she is a beast. She is just a, what can I put it, just, <laughs> she is just a boss killer. She is fantastic, do you know what I mean? Get her ranked up as much as she can because this girl can cause some really good damage um, when attacking the guild bosses. So obviously the best thing to that she's got really is a chain damage which does help which you'll see shortly in the video because if there's any adjacent enemies it's just going to chain across uh, i mean i've got a damage at the moment to 353 so it can be better it's this this damage well against psychers so at the moment i've got it so it deals an extra 462 damage against psychers again which is pretty nice so yeah get this girl ranked up get a really kind of high in the damage getting some good gear and she is going to destroy and put some really good numbers on the guild bosses so if we ever take a quick look at some of the videos i put together so this is just showing off um against um i think this first boss it got one against the hive tyrant this is against the turvagon so um I don't know why I moved it to begin with. She could have been a bit more damaged there, but she just did just under 2,000 damage there. So I'm just going to move the rest of the troops around and try and surround. That's the best thing with the guild bosses, is just trying to surround them because, as, as you know, they can move around pretty quick. So the biggest tip with her is trying to find a high ground. So at the moment there, she can do just over 2,000 damage. Where she is, she can't really get any higher, so... There you are, some nice crits coming out of it as well. So that's over 2,000 damage. I mean, that's pretty good um, just out of one hero. Um, so the rest is going to do cause some more damage. Again, strength in numbers. Get as many numbers as you can. So here's another good trick. So you should be able to get her in higher now. So as you can see, there you go. If I move her higher, she's doing over, three, I think, 3,300 damage. And as you can see, the damage just carrying the chain. So it's killing all the little goobers around it as well. So she is just MVP against these guild bosses. Um, main thing, again, it's not always difficult. It's not always easy to do, I should say, is um, trying to get the high, the higher ground. The higher your ground you can get, the more damage you can do. So it's just going to move there. So sometimes they move, or your blood letters, or... Or your scarabs get in the way. That can be annoying sometimes trying to find a high ground. But there you go, space there. So again, another 3,300 damage with some nice crits in there as well. So you're getting decent numbers. I think this time, um, what round are we on now? So three more rounds left. Um, we're just under the uh, 16,000, 17,000 damage. So it's pretty good just after a couple of rounds. Again, there you go, I got trapped. It's always handy if you can get the uh, guild boss kind of like trapped, not moving, so you can just literally just gather around it, just keep on hitting it like we're doing now, and get some nice crits as well. So done a bit of a move there. So what we could try and do now is try and see if we can get a bit of high ground. If not, just get as close as you can. So what we're gonna do here? So no, I don't think we get any higher. So it's getting again on, on level ground. You're getting just over a thousand, two thousand damage. So it's nothing to be sniffed at that. And we've got one more round. I think this is the last round and it's gone. So that was, what, 20, 25,000 damage in total. And it's pretty good. And that's a lot a lot down to Ross Weaver getting them high numbers in. So this one is against the Hive Tyrant. Where, again, I, I was kind of able to... They are 3,000 damage. So it's just amazing. I think at one point in this, I think I get it to where I can do over 4,000 damage. I get quite lucky in this one, I think, and you can get, get in a position and just keep on doing a high, high ton of damage. So again, surrounding it, as much damage you can do. Nice crit there from Kalendis. And this is my team I kind of use at the moment in, in most of the guild bosses. I've kind of experimented in different um, characters and this, this team will seem to work. I think the most I've got at the moment is about 30,000. Um, but they can easily be getting over the 20 between, I'd say between 20, 30,000. Obviously the higher the boss goes, it, you do lose a bit. I think this is a bot now where I should be able to get some good high ground. So there you go, over 4,000 damage. She is just, and I think there was a few crits in there as well. She's so probably doing more than that as well. So yeah, 
there we go. My recommendation for this girl is just get her ranked up. Do you know what I mean? Because she is really going to help you and and your guild. Um, just just killing these these guys, putting high numbers on. Do you know what I mean? If you're knocking out between two and four thousand each, each turn, you're going to be able to do some really good numbers and get the rest of the team kind of built up around her. There you go. And there's another three thousand damage. So thought I'd share that. This this girl Ross with us, she is definitely an MVP the guild boss at the moment there's not quite another hero i found that can kind of match her i mean i could be missing a trip with someone else please let me know if someone else out there who you think is really good but at the moment yeah this uh this girl is definitely mvp so if you've got her in your team if you've managed to luckily get her do you mean get her ranked up um try and find that high ground when you when you're fighting the bosses and yeah you, you'll see just the damage that she can cause so i hope that helps some people out there just a quick video to showing her off please don't forget to check out some of your videos and also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on your way out take care bye bye